Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Today, I've set myself a goal to just get the track looking a little bit more like a track. I don't want to do anything with the center today or anything like that. I want to set up all of the little hatchings, all of the rumble strips, uh, all of the sand banks and stuff like that. Luckily, we've got already got some sand over here, which is going to help me out a little bit. Uh, and maybe some walls, some tire walls, some things like that. Make it look a little bit more track-like. It's looking so cool at the minute. I really like the layout of the track. I really like the size of the track. And uh, yeah. It's going to be cool. Now, the pit wall, there's going to be a pit wall down here, so it's just going to be some blocks. And the same as the outside is going to have uh, just blocks. I don't need to worry about sand around there. This corner is very close to the road, therefore we can't have a runoff area here. So we're going to have a wall that comes around. We leave a little bit of sand here and a wall that goes around the side. Same as this water part, we're going to have a wall that goes around there. This part can be sand. Wall goes all the way around the edge. We can have a little bit of sand there. Wall comes around, we'll leave a little bit of sand, wall go pretty straight there. We want to wall the whole thing in, but uh, we want to have some sand parts going around as well. So let's do the wall first. That'll give us a rough idea on where we've got sand parts to go. First, we need to choose what block we want for this retaining wall. I want something grey. Uh, iron blocks could probably be a good one. Uh, clay blocks are probably a better choice. Clay blocks... How high do we want it? We want iron bars on top of it in some places. Uh, we want slabs on top in others. So let's have a look in slabs. I think I want to go with a darker slab, maybe even black. This one's maybe a little bit too small. That should work. Either this one or this one. Let's check it out. If we done the pit wall here, which is uh, two blocks deep, that's pretty good. Uh, do we want iron bars up this one I don't think so let's start from back here and we done something I'm gonna just keep it one block wide for the minute yeah like that okay so it comes down here now in real F1 racing the pit wall does have a fence that goes up pretty high uh, in front of uh, this I suppose if there's a crash on the main straight they don't end up like flying over into the pit lane So maybe it would be a good idea I think we will keep it one block thick and not two uh, and then I'll just change this to be the stone It'll make the pit lane just that one block wider. I think it would look a little bit better. So we'll do set stone and Set stone set stone See, that looks pretty cool. See, how little touches just improve like that. Now, this is option A with this slab. This is option B. I think I prefer option B. I think it stands out a little bit more. Uh, and I like the height of just a block and slab. It's a pretty good height when you're in the car. It's a pretty good height when you're outside the car. We can still see over the wall, like barely. Uh, and we'll put some... Iron bars up, I think, afterwards. Once we've got the wall in, we can then decide exactly where we want uh, iron bars to be. Especially around the outside of the track, obviously, is where we're going to want most of the uh, iron bars. We are going to want to have places without an iron bars, though. In case there's a crash, we need utility vehicles and safety vehicles to be able to get out and drag the uh, vehicles off our track. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Uh, we want... One that runs down the outside of the start finish straight as well. So this is going to come all the way down here. And then eventually start curving out about here. Like this. I want to get this roughly in the right shape. Like this. I don't want it to be perfectly like smooth cornered. I want to have some little weird curves in it. And then it's going to come down. Touching the road again. Perfect. Look at that. Uh, weather clear. I can do weather clear 9, nine, 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 nine apparently. Too many. Too many. Too many. It must be 1, 10 million? 1 million. 1 million. Apparently that's going to now keep the weather clear for 1 million ticks, which I don't think is actually that long. 
Uh, but you guys have been suggesting in the comments section that that is what I should do. These need to be thick as well, not the thin versions. Okay, I'm going to do this all the way around the outside of the track. You sort of get the idea. If I just show you the inside of this sandbank area now, that's all going to be sand with the rumble strips going around it. I guess a really nice sort of smooth curve. Uh, I'll leave some areas on the outside for the sandbanks, uh, but a lot of the outside is going to be just wall. Okay, I'll be back. All right, so I've got the retaining wall that goes all the way around the track now on the inside and the outside. I decided to do the inside as well. It gives us an idea of how much room we have on the inside to work with. Obviously, we've got the pit area over here. That's going to take up a relatively large amount of room and we need a sort of road behind it in order to get into the pits in the first place. We've got the exit to the tunnel that's going to go underground and join up to here, go underground here in order to get in there. Leaving us this area and this little area, which is pretty useless, this little area. But it leaves us this area to make a little bit of a car park for the transportation lorries and that kind of thing uh, inside of here. We might also have some stands on the inside, potentially, if I get enough room. Maybe here we can get a little bit of stand in. Obviously, along the straightway is going to be the main stand. What I'm doing now is going around without trying to throw up while hiccuping. That was a close one, I will admit. Do you guys ever do that? You ever get close to throwing up when you when you want to hiccup? Woo! It's a scary feeling. <laughs> so I'm just putting down some sand now in all the places uh, on the inside of the track. I know we've got some sand that sort of goes onto the outside. That's really not much of a bother. We can change that up later on when we do uh, get around to doing the inside of the track. Now, there's no real fast way to do this. It, there, there's some, some sort of tactics you can use to try and make it go quicker. But uh, using World well, obviously, obviously is going to help out a whole bunch. Uh, but there's nothing that just instantly makes everything sand that isn't sand while inside of a border that's curved. It's just... It, 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 there, there's no tool that I know of that can do anything like that. So it's a little bit of a slow process. But if you do it in the way that I'm doing it, you sort of do it twice as fast. There's, it, it sort of speeds up twice fast, and that's by using, changing the blocks that are on the underside of the paths, or of the wall. And it speeds up just that little tiny bit. So once we've got all of these in, this was a good one. Uh, once we get all of these in, we will be able to put all the rumble strips down. And suddenly we'll have something that does look very similar to a racetrack. There'll be uh, a lot of, of, of racetrack goodness going on. There to there. Uh, these are the old uh, track layout. We thought it was going to go over here, but we ended up sort of shortcutting it a little bit. Like this. So, I just thought I'd come back and show you a little bit of a progress update. And uh, I'm going to put all of these sandbanks down. And then I'll be back again to do some more wall stuff, okay? Long episode for me. Whew, might be a short episode for you. Yeah, you see, the more off-camera stuff that I need to do in an episode, usually the shorter the overall episode is, because there's other stuff that I need to get done during the day. But, we've got ourselves all of the sand now around the track. It's looking really, really cool. I cleaned up the inside now, so it's all grass, apart from where we think that the tunnel is roughly going to come out. And I think that is looking so cool. It's going to look so much better with the rumble strips down, and with some more detail going around it I think I want to extend this out as well further even if we make the entire edge of wherever there's a road wherever road touches sand if we make it into a um, rumble strip so there's no sand actually touching the road I think that will probably look better so if we had something like that, you see, I think that does, in general, look better. And we do that around the whole of the outside. So we have red, red, uh, white, 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 like that. Red, 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 white, 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 white. And we want to try and keep them as close to the two by twos as we possibly can. But it doesn't matter if in some areas they don't quite stay square as long as they... Hello. See, that was, was that a million ticks? I don't know if that was a million ticks. I don't know if that was a million ticks. Maybe it was a million ticks. It just didn't really seem that long. I mean, I've been working. It, that shows how long I've been working off camera. Whoops. Off camera, I suppose. Uh, 
a, a million ticks worth of in-game time just to do that outside. It just takes ages to do anything like this. Even with World Edit, it, it's, it's a forever task. Uh, you, you make one part exactly how you want, want it, uh, and you do that all the way around, and then you go, ooh, what if I actually made it like this? And then you have to change everything that you've done. And uh, I'm one of these people that change my mind very, very often. So uh, it, it's a never-ending cycle. But, yeah, see how cool does that look? Now that the sand doesn't touch the stone, uh, we get this really cool racetrack feel. So again, unfortunately, I'm going to cut off camera to get this done. You guys aren't going to want to watch me do this all the way around. Looks so cool on the map as well. And, uh, and I should be back again. Last little stretch, but I want you guys to be honest. In the comments section right now, I want you guys to say when you saw just the sand without the rumble strips, just the sand, what did you think? Did you think it looked good or did you think it looked bad? Because I know there's going to be some of you guys out there that would that saw that with just the stone and the sand next to each other and went, what is he doing? This looks nothing like a racetrack. And I tell you how I know that some of you would have thought that. Because I thought it. I thought, this isn't looking right. I need to do something about this. So we said we'll put the rumble strips all the way around it. And boom. This now looks like a racetrack. 100%. It looks so cool. I changed my mind a little bit. I ended up cut. There was a sand uh, part here. And the wall went across here and there was a sand part here and the wall went across here now for two reasons i changed that reason number one it gives us more room on the inside but reason number two the most important reason is that with the sand here and the sand here it made this chicane the it gave you the ability just to drive straight across it over the sandbanks because the sandbanks don't actually slow you down do they uh, but yeah we have ourselves a looking like racetrack now we don't just have a black line that goes around we now have something that's starting to look like a racetrack now to finish off the episode i'm going to drive around it because i just like driving around this and i know that this episode might be for you guys a little bit shorter than uh, than normal it might be the same length i don't know i'll have to look at the footage oh yeah uh whoops ah, oh yeah <laughs> uh hold on I went up the wall, right, because the wall is only one block high at the moment. Uh, I never put the slabs around the tops of them. Uh, therefore, these cars, these race cars, or any cars in the game, can go up one block. If I made it one and a half blocks, the cars shouldn't be able to do that. Hopefully, it'll stop that. Um, but yeah, what was I going to say? I was in the middle of saying something, and I, I completely went off track. What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, the episode might be shorter for you guys, but it just require it just means uh, it's just because sorry, uh, it's taken so long to do all of the stuff off camera today. All of the uh, each one of these uh, carpets take forever to place. It's a huge area to put a wall around. Oh yeah, uh, the sand took forever to do. Uh, next episode we'll start putting some detail on the track. Look at this apex hitting. Oh my fingers are going crazy. Look at this. Oh, wow. I really like this track. Ooh, not into the pits. There we go. This is so cool, right? Uh, how come I've got a red carpet in the middle of the road? Ah, so I got into that car just a minute ago. If you guys uh, enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!